everyone and welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Linky. Today's story is about fairies and rainbows and it's called Hope, the Rainbow Fairy. Written by Rosie Greening and illustrated by Lara Eve. Are you ready to get started? Yes! Great! Hope, the Rainbow Fairy, worked her magic day and night to spread nice rainbow colors and make fairyland look bright. Yellow for the sunshine and green for every tree, then a hundred other colors only fairy eyes can see. But then one year a fairy flu began to slowly spread. We need a plan to beat this, all the sneezing fairies said. Achoo! Soon enough Hope heard the news of what they had to do. Everyone must stay at home to keep safe from this flu. So every fairy, young and old, stayed tucked up in their house and soon the whole of fairyland was quiet as a mouse. But Hope began to worry. The fairies needed cheer and it seemed the trees and flowers would be colorless this year. She opened her computer, then she rang her friends and said, There won't be any colors if I stay at home instead. Hope's friends said, Don't worry, everyone will understand. But Hope knew that she had to try to help out Fairyland. So Hope began to brainstorm ways to spread joy from her home and help the magic fairies feel a little less alone. She sent out rainbow ice lollies for everyone to eat, but they melted in the mail and left big puddles in the street. She set up lots of online games for everyone to play, but the Y fly soon cut out and it confused Gran anyway. Finally, Hope waved her wand to wish the flu away, but she didn't have the power. It seemed flu was here to stay. This is bad, cried Fairy Hope. I can't fix the flu. But I can't spread color either, so what's left for me to do? Hope flew sadly to the roof. I miss my friends, she said. Then as she gazed at Fairyland, a plan came to her head. She whooshed her wand above her, and as quickly as can be, a rainbow shone above her house for everyone to see. One by one the fairies saw the rainbow far away. The colors made them hopeful when so much felt sad and grey. So the fairies got to work to make big rainbows of their own. It made them feel much better as they knew they weren't alone. Soon each house in fairyland had rainbows shining bright. Each time the fairies saw them they knew things would be alright and Hope was thrilled that Fairyland had more color than ever. The fairies were connected, safe at home, but still together. The weeks went by in Fairyland until Hope heard one day, the fairy flu is over, you can meet again and play. Hope flew from her house and all the fairies gave a cheer. They told her they were grateful for the joy she brought that year. So even when the world seems grey, there is colour we can share. With kindness and community, hope is always there. Wow, what a lovely story. Maybe sometimes you feel sad too when you have to stay home because of COVID. But remember that just like hope, you can make yourself feel better as well as your friends and family by keeping a positive attitude, being kind and helping out where you can. I hope you enjoyed the story with me and I'll see you again next time. Bye! <laughs>